Hello, hello, Aquarius. It's your turn for your March reading. I was going to say love reading. <laughs> reading. <laughs> Anyways, I um, hope you all are doing well. Um, do keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not apply to all of you, but just those who feel led to it. Alright, Aquarius. Um, I gotta say, it's been a weird weird week so far um yesterday it's funny because i'm a cancer and it's like i worked with an aquarius and it's just really awkward i don't know it's just a really weird situation emotionally because i felt like i brought up a lot of past past hurts past emotions with aquarius people i've known in the past and it's just it wasn't a good feeling I had mentally and it's just it, it did help me understand a lot of my struggles my conflicts I've had in the past with Aquarius but mainly my own struggles mentally that it, it kind of gave me that um, power feeling to really look at myself from a higher perspective so maybe some of you Aquarius are dealing with a cancer possibly um, but I have no idea but do keep in mind we are in Pisces season. I think I said that already. I don't know. I can't remember what I said. Um, do keep in mind, um, Mercury went retrograde in Pisces. So, I'm going to give you one more extra card for some reason. Alright. It's dark. Alright. Well, it's really interesting about Aquarius because I have... A new nephew he's an Aquarius so it's been interesting for Aquarius I would say um, but I do feel like your season may have been very difficult maybe felt like in some way a rebirth of some kind you know kind of like I, I feel like a few particular Aquarius I feel like you wanted you wanted a response from someone I feel like you really were like confused why something happened I feel like maybe in some way you know I felt like this with recently an Aquarius kind of friend that goes to work and stuff I felt like you know they wanted me to talk to them which is fine it's just I don't know I just feel detached you know I hate to say that but it's like someone could have been maybe seemed a little closed off and it, it's not the fact they were closed off. I think it's the fact that they just, they don't want to be involved with you, you know? You know, I'm not saying that's for all Aquarius. I have a really good friend who's an Aquarius. But I know uh, one in particular Aquarius, you know, I recently came to terms with. It's, it's really weird because I felt like he kind of gave the vibe and I've been noticing about some of the Aquarius gave off a vibe about past people like it's karmic it feels like to me like it, it seems like I'm drawn to them at first but then it's like I don't want to get involved so I detach myself from it maybe I'm learning from an Aquarius to detach I don't know <laughs> that's what you guys have taught me anyways this is not about me this is about you but I'm just wanting to share that that happened to you and you're like what happened to this cancer what's wrong with this cancer well the cancer is pretty much detached because what they've learned about Aquarius is detachment and I think that's helped them to realize why stay involved with people certain people when you know you want to be careful what you're doing you don't want to not necessarily give in to a situation but you don't want to become obvious or needy in a situation when it deals with other people because I feel like for me you know it's not so much being vulnerable it's the fact that you don't want to give so much of yourself and you know regret anything and I feel like a lot of it is past situations with people where I don't want to become too vulnerable with them because of my past mistakes with a guy that I worked with one time and I don't think they know that but it's like it's not that I can share that with the world say you know I made a mistake in the past and I don't want to communicate to you because being open and vulnerable is really hard to you and it's like I kind of feel bad for them because I'm not really being open and honest about 
how I'm feeling and stuff at the same time, you know. You know, they should know about this time that there's reasons why people do what they do. And maybe you felt like someone distant themselves out of the blue because they you did something wrong or like maybe you're questioning or overthinking a situation and you're like what the fuck's wrong with them why don't they talk and why one point in the beginning they communicate and then they distance themselves well there's always a reason why and you should know Aquarius because you do that a lot too so it's not just a cancer thing or whatever it's just there's reasons and maybe you need to open up why are you talking to me I don't know but some people aren't meant to, you know, stay long-term friendships, you know. Anyways, that's what I'm getting at with that. So, let's see. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. You start out with March, the Six of Swords. You know, I feel like you're done with the situation. You're not putting in an effort in something. But I feel like you're stuck between a hard and a rock place. And I feel like that's with, again, this past emotion, past situation... You know, that brought you a lot of happiness. Maybe this friendship you had brought a lot of happiness, but it ended cold, detached. Maybe you gave yourself to this person in some way, or you felt like maybe you had to hold yourself back, or they're doing this to you, obviously. Um, but I feel like it's about not becoming too cunning with your words, and I feel like you're becoming aggressive passive aggressive in a situation a past situation we, maybe you're still viewing a person like that you know your your value is on the line i feel like with this sit situation you're going through with people aquarius because i feel like you're giving a lot in a situation or a friendship or relationship but in turns maybe they're not seeing your value or maybe they're starting to see your worth in a situation or relationship but yeah, you want to grow something, I feel like, Aquarius, with someone or an individual. Uh, but I do feel like something's not manifesting properly. I do feel like there's a lot of things you want to create. Maybe there has to do with your emotions. Like, you want to maybe create a type of business that you can do for your lifetime. You know, it's kind of like Gemini right now. They want to start something, but it's like they have no idea what to start with. And it's like... It's really hard to start with something. You know, you want to create life. You want to make something out of your life. That was maybe just a thought or idea. Um, I do feel like recently, Aquarius, someone blew your mind away. Maybe with the truth. Maybe with something spoken. You know, I know yesterday I was spoke, speaking to an Aquarius guy that I worked with. Yeah, he... he He's not into astrology. Maybe you thought of something that you never thought of before, like astrology or something. You know, but I feel like when it comes to your queries, you're trying to create value in your life. You want, if it is a relationship, you want a relationship that's going to give back to you. The same that you're giving. Because a lot of you Aquarius get in these situations or these relationships that seem to end the same way. And it becomes toxic. Like there's not an equal give and take. Or give and receiving. And it's like maybe you're waiting for someone to give. That's not willing to give. Or maybe you're in a situation. Tight squeeze on something. When it comes to manifesting. Like there's this block of some kind with an individual. I just feel like if it's dealing with a past person. They're probably not open to you. They're probably detached, cold, and isolated because they want nothing to do with you. You know, it's nothing against you. It's just, I feel like some of you have moved on from this person. But I feel like at the same time, you're hurt by it still. And I think that's why the a Knight of Swords is here. Because it's like you became cold and detached yourself. But I feel like you became angry because this person did not give you what you wanted. And in turn, you became bitter, you became aggressive, you ignored them at some point, I feel like. But at the same time, you know, you're moving on, I feel like. Creating something, creating something that will benefit you and other people that you, who actually care about you. And I feel like that's where your focus needs to be. Not on these past people who don't give a damn about you. Because it's like, for me, I, I care about people in general. I really do. 
But I feel like if people keep repeating the same habits, keep isolating themselves, distancing themselves, you know, not really making the effort, especially if it's friendships, I just feel like if you're not really making the effort in a relationship, you're wasting people's time. Or if you're not opening up and talking to people about what's really going on, they're not going to know what's going on if you're not talking to them. You know, but I would stay away, highly stay away from these past people because it's not where to grow. You know, you could be so attached to people in the past, but in the end, it's only bringing you heartache, you know? Anyways, I hope that resonated with one of you out there. Bye-bye.